Ubuntu versus Linux Mint, which is right for you in 2025. Forget what you think you already know about Ubuntu and Linux Mint. In 2025, the desktop Linux story is changing faster than people expect. On one side sits Ubuntu, a distribution that has steadily folded in newer desktops, kernel improvements, and increasingly close ties to both gaming, tech, and enterprise tooling. On the other side is Linux Mint, the quiet, polished-first alternative that prizes familiarity, stability, and it just works convenience for everyday users. In this video, I'll walk you through what's new, what matters for real people, and which distro likely fits your needs this year. Ubuntu's most visible move in 2025 is an emphasis on a modern GNOME experience and upstream integration. The releases this year push GNOME upgrades and a set of performance and hardware enablement improvements that make Ubuntu feel more modern and capable on both laptops and newer silicon. Those changes were paired with a newer Linux kernel and various under-the-hood updates aimed at better graphics, better Wayland support, and improved device enablement changes that matter if you want the latest hardware working smoothly. That forward push shows in another way. Canonical has continued to drive convenience features like the Snap ecosystem and an updated software center meant to make installing apps easier for new users. Snap remains an opinionated choice, convenient and curated, but also controversial among some privacy-minded or power users because it uses a centralized store and a slightly different update model than traditional packages. If you like one-click app installs and official vendor snaps for things like games or developer tooling, Ubuntu's model is compelling. If you prefer maximum auditability or minimal upstream centralization, that trade-off can be frustrating. Linux Mint, by contrast, takes the opposite posture, refinement over revolution. Mint's cinnamon desktop continues to receive steady polish. Small but meaningful improvements to usability, the panel, and the menu system keep the experience familiar and comfortable for users coming from Windows or older GNOME 2-style desktops. Mint bundles easy multimedia codec support and tends to favor a more conservative update cadence, so your system will feel stable and predictable out of the box. Because Mint builds on Ubuntu's package base, it inherits broad hardware support, while keeping its own choice of defaults and tools that aim to simplify everyday tasks. So what does this mean for specific users? If you are someone who wants the newest desktop polish, tighter integration with vendor hardware, and a distribution that also has a clear path toward cloud and enterprise tooling, Ubuntu's 2025 releases give you those advantages. Gamers and content creators who want newer kernel and graphics stacks, or developers looking for the latest language tool chains and pre-built packages, will find Ubuntu's direction useful. For people who want a desktop that just works the moment you boot, with codecs ready, an intuitive settings layout, and a low-stress update philosophy, Linux Mint is still the friendliest choice, especially for families, educators, and casual users who prioritize stability and familiarity. There are also practical differences you'll notice the moment you install either distro. Ubuntu's installer and default GNOME session push toward a modern, curated default desktop that sometimes nudges users to use the Snap slash App Center approach. Mint's installer is intentionally conservative, and the first boot tends to ask fewer questions that change system behavior. Mint's software manager and update tooling lean on traditional packages and flat pack integration where needed. These are not small UX differences. They shape how you install apps, how updates are managed, and ultimately how much time you spend maintaining the system versus using it. If you're deciding today, think about your hardware, your tolerance for frequent upgrades, and how much control you need. For new or non-technical users with older machines, or anyone who wants a familiar desktop that rarely surprises, Linux Mint is a safe, pleasant pick. For power users, developers, and early adopters with newer hardware who want an upstream modern desktop, active community support, and tight hardware enablement, Ubuntu is more future-facing in 2025. But neither choice is permanent. Try both as live USBs, test your key apps, and pick the one that fits your workflow.
To make the decision even simpler, choose Mint if your priority is set it up and forget it with minimal tinkering. Choose Ubuntu if you want the newest kernel, broader vendor collaboration, and a platform that's trying to blur the line between consumer desktop and modern developer AI tooling. In either case, both distros are excellent, actively maintained, much closer today than they've ever been in terms of hardware and gaming support. The final choice comes down to whether you prefer polish and predictability or cutting-edge enablement and closer ties to upstream innovation.